Come on, let's look at an energy drinks. So I'm gonna find you something good. So the common factor with pretty much every energy drink, what we see are artificial sweeteners in these things. So we're seeing acetylfame potassium or sucralose or aspartame and other drinks. And all these artificial sweeteners are typically linked to higher incidences of cardiovascular events or cerebrovascular events. So heart issues and lack of oxygen to the brain. It was a 2022 epidemiological study that was done in France with 103,000 people. It's done over eight years. This is with normal amounts of artificial sweeteners on a daily basis. And if you look at Red Bull, like the original, if it doesn't have artificial sweeteners in it, it's loaded in sugars. It has 26 grams of sugars in it. Like literally sugar and glucose. Glucose is what your blood sugar is. This is not healthy in any way, shape or form. You go to the sugar-free version and we have sucralose. And you go to their new version of the Zero with monk fruit extracts and other sweeteners. So it does have sucralose, even though it has monk fruit in it. So it's really not any better. And that's consistent. Britt and I have been scouring for the ultimate energy drink. And I think I found one, but it's not here. We actually have to go to Whole Foods. So follow us over there. Okay, we found it. Here it is, Angry Angel. What a cute name, right? Zero artificial sweeteners, naturally sweetened with monk fruit, 120 milligrams of natural caffeine from yerba mate, enhanced with CoQ10, which is fantastic for the heart, and B vitamins, and it's keto-friendly, I love that. One gram of carbs, no protein, so pretty much zero, except for one gram of carb. Carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, which is in everything. Fruit and vegetable juice for color, that's great. Asorbic acid, which is just vitamin C. And it's got methylcobalamin. It's got my favorite type of B12, cyanocobalamin, is synthetic. And if you have an MTHFR gene defect, which over 42% of the population does have, your body doesn't do a good job processing that. So methylcobalamin is the way to go. I can't have caffeine. My heart doesn't like it since post-heart surgery, but Britt can taste test this for us, right? We know it tastes good. We're going to do it for you anyway. Let the taste test begin. It's really good. I don't drink anything artificial anymore. It tastes like blue raspberry. It's really good. It's like summery, sweet, no stevia afterbite. I think we have a win, finally, for energy drinks. Good oh. job, Angry Angel. There it is.